Hey guys, so today I have another um, my creations video to share with you guys. Um, I have been working on a lot of tumblers, half of them being customer orders, half of them being my own creations kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to share everything with you. So, and as always, if you're interested in purchasing anything that I have made that is not a customer order, um, I will provide my Poshmark link in the description box down below and you can check that out. There are a couple of tumblers that I have not added yet. Excuse my dogs, the garbage truck is coming by. And if you would like a custom order, if you would like to, like, you know, order something from me that I don't have made, um, my email and my Instagram are both in the description box down below. You can reach out to me through email or Instagram and we can talk details and all that good stuff. But here are the clips. I forgot to show this in the last video, but here is the finished tumbler for Lexi. Super cute. And then I added a purple straw to match. So this is the Drink Up Witches stemless wine glass tumbler in the dark. It glows. And here it is during the day, all finished up. Super cute. Now I was going to add a straw, but apparently the straw hole is not big enough for any of the straws that I own. So this one is just going to have to be strawless. But I still think it turned out really so for this white tumbler, um, instead of just kind of ombreing the black at the bottom and the top, I did the Dawn Power Wash method. So I sprayed Dawn Power Wash in the middle, as you can see there, and then I spray painted the whole thing black. Now, some of the spray didn't get in these spots, which actually, actually I think looks really cute in a way because it looks like speckled almost in certain spots because I'm gonna add a design and a name and all that stuff and I'm going to add a picture, an image, a design in the middle. So I actually think this looks better than my original plan. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. Now I did have to wash it with water. So once the water and the paint are dry, I will be putting the SVGs on. So all the Harley letters are demolded now i did get the harley davidson logo on the b that is a custom order but this was a bitch to weed i had to reverse weed this and it was like a lot um and then i had to cut it three times because it kept like it was so small that it kept like moving while in the cricket and not cutting right so this was three cuts to do this <laughs> I don't know if I want to do it for the other four, but I might. Um, and then I'm going to flood coat all of these and then put on the hardware. So I did it. <laughs> it was tough, but I got it all done. So now all these need our flood coats and then I got to put the hardware on them. And here is how the Harley colored earrings came out. I am obsessed. They turned out so good. I apologize for the weed whacker, my neighbor's doing his lawn. So here is this tumbler. So I have the bun lady with the cutouts. And then I have the leaves all around, which look really cute. And on the back, ugh, I can't spin it very well. Okay. And on the back, her name, Tanya. She wanted it in, in, it in teal, and I thought like a smoke cloud would be really cool on this. And I love how it's like not super like prominent either. Yeah, I think this turned out really, really cute. And here it is with the first layer of epoxy. It may need one more, but I am obsessed. This turned out so good. I love it so much. And that Tanya, it does pop more than it than it seemed at first on video, but I'm obsessed. I love how this turned out. It looks even better with epoxy on it. Like it's all shiny now. Oh, I love it. 
I flood coated all of the Harley keychains. So they should be ready in the morning. And then with the leftover resin, I did a cute little mama bear keychain. So the handle is put on the fishing lure tumbler and now it needs a several coats to make sure it's good and stuck on there. And uh, it matches like almost perfectly to the colors that I used on this, like to the T. I love it. So I added a second layer to this tumbler just to make sure everything was good and sealed. And then the fishing lure tumbler, I added the first layer to that. This needs about two more coats and it should be good. The lilac lavender tumbler for my dad. He's giving this as a gift um, to one of his friends is complete. All she wanted was just purple and she wanted it like a lavendery color and yeah so i added a purple straw to match and this is good to go for when he comes this weekend so here is the finished smoky smoke tumbler i'm obsessed with how this came out i absolutely love it i added a like smoky smoky black straw to match and i am making another one of these today for my shop because this is a customer order, but I think so, this will sell really well and I'm excited and I love how it came out. So I want to recreate this to put in my shop, obviously without the name on it, but yeah. So like I said, I am making another one of those smoke tumblers. So I prepped this tumbler, I've painted it white, I've sanded it, painted it white. And once this dries, I will do the Dawn dish soap method and put the black on. I have another tumbler started. This one is going to be a scream tumbler, but I'm going to be doing the um, trend again with the soap, with the Dawn dish soap, the power wash um, with pink. And this is gonna be a no you hang up scream tumbler. So I'm excited about that. So these are all dry and now they just need hardware and they'll be good to go. And I demolded the keychain. I just need to, I kind of think that that looks cute even without outlining it. I was going to, because this part's matte and this part's shiny, so it stands out anyway. I was going to color in like the lettering, but I think it looks cute without coloring it in. What do you guys think? So the Harley keys, keychains are all, with all the hardware and ready to go. This is all packaged up and ready to go. She's picking it up in like 10 minutes. So this is the B and this has the heart charm on it. Black tassel. Then the rest, I put these cool like skull and crossbone ones on them because I thought that went with like Harley pretty well. So I have that. This one, I have a black tassel on the K. The H has an orange tassel. And they all have the skull and crossbones on them. The A has a black tassel and the S has an orange tassel. So I glued, I just glued the backings onto the Harley colored earring studs. So they should be dry in the morning. So the last time I made earrings like this, I put an eyelet hook through the top of them like this and it worked out fine. This one did well. This one I got in crooked and then there was another one that I split down the back. Um, so these I think are goners. I don't think I can still use these. But this set, I'm gonna try a different method. I think I'm just gonna put a stud right here and just make these like long stud earrings instead. I took the eyelet hooks out of these two and yeah, there's definitely, <laughs> I don't think, unless I just put like a little bit of UV resin over those to fill the holes. I don't think I can use these two. So I did add the posts just now, and I think those are gonna work out well. So I'm excited. I think from now on, I'm just gonna turn these snake earrings into just post earrings because, um, yeah, I don't wanna risk ruining another pair because these I work really hard on. 
So this I made a while ago um, with some leftover resin from something. I forget what it was, but um, this is just one of those like skulls with the like mom bun and stuff. Well, I added this charm onto it and made it into a keychain to go along as the free gift with that puff puff tumbler that I made. So I'm excited. I think she's really going to like that. So I've had these letters for a while. These two were my like, um, my little like drip pour kind of things where I just had a little bit left in a cup and I just kept pouring more and more layers kind of thing. So that's what those three are. And then this one is just a K that I did from some leftover resin. Um, but like I said, I made these a while ago, was just dragging my feet about putting them together, like putting the hardware on. But this Z, I put a little heart charm and I put this purple tassel, then the K. I put this really pretty lilac tassel and this cute cat charm. And then the S, I did a heart charm and a blue tassel. So I made a beaded pen with this rhinestone studded pen that I made. Um, and I used this best mom ever focal bead. I added some dark blue to kind of match the pen and then some black and silvers and like some of these really cute um, rhinestone studded spacers. And I think it turned out really cute. I'm so excited. But I have to wait <laughs> to put this on display because I am out of pen bags. Um, I could probably see if I can find another bag to put this in for the time being so I can see if I can sell it. But um, I just think they look better in the pen bags. So I ordered them from Timu last night. So they probably won't be here for like a week and a half, two weeks. So... I just kind of have this sitting right now. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really cute. I think I'm going to bling out another pen this weekend, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so I added another layer of epoxy on last night and I'm about to add the final layer and then this tumbler will be done. I also did the effect on these two, the um, Dawn power wash effect. So this is going to be a smoke tumbler without the name on it. And this one is going to be a um, ghost face tumbler, but like a girly kind of one. I don't know, cause it's got pink. It's pink and black. I think it turned out really cool looking. And the final layer is on. So this will be ready and finished by tomorrow. So I have the Z keychain for my friend Zita. Um, she asked to have a keychain that was in purple um, to go along with her order and I'm not charging her. It's one. It's going to be one of her free gifts. And then I'm going to put right down here Zita, her name, and then I'm going to dome it and yeah. I think she's really gonna like that. And then from the leftover resin, I made a T, an M, a D, and a G. I'm just gonna dome these and put no names on them and put them, hang them up like on my display in the shop. And then with the leftover resin that I couldn't fit in another letter, I did some stud earrings. So I did these ghosts and these have the holographic bottoms on it. Same with these, these are the Jack Skellingtons. They have holographic in them. And then we have these star earrings and whoop, some leaves and some butterflies. So I think they're gonna turn out really cute. And these are dry and ready to um, put on earring cards and put up in my shop. Here is the mama bear keychain all put together. I added a cute little paw print. It kind of looks like, like a bear paw print almost. And then I added a brown tassel. And I think this looks adorable. I just, I love how this came out with like the shiny and the matte and my nail. If you can tell, I've been spray painting tumblers today. Um, and then I, I don't know if I showed you, like 
before, but look at those brown hearts in there. They're like copper colored hearts. I just think that came out so cool. So I used this like holographic, um, not holographic, chameleon um, color shift powder that I had that was like blue, blues and blacks and and stuff like that. And then I added these copper colored hearts and I just, I love it. I'm obsessed. And yeah, the brown definitely matches the hearts and I just think it came out really, really adorable. So I have another tumbler started. This is gonna be a Coraline tumbler and she wants the background pink glitter. So I've spray painted it pink. So I was in a hurry and I forgot to show these like like I normally do outside first before I put them on the turners. I am going to like a mom, mom's neighborhood, like us moms of the neighborhood whose kids all go to school together. We decided to like have a little get together at six o'clock today. So I was trying to get this done before that, but these are on the Turners and epoxied, and I just wanted to show them off. Okay, so um, this is the first one. This is the um, kind of the same tumbler that I did before, the smoke tumbler, but instead I put hashtag dopest mom, and I used reflective um, green vinyl instead of just the flat green vinyl and I think it looks really really cute I just kind of wanted to just make it a little bit different um this is going to get a second coat um probably in the morning I probably won't have time to do it tonight being out I don't know how late I'm staying out but anyways it's Friday night so <laughs> and then here is the other tumbler that I did this is the um scream ghost face tumbler so here we have the Call Me, which I thought was really cute. I did a white offset to kind of, so the black didn't blend in with the black of the tumbler. And then up here, I did this pink drip, which this is not the final um, thing of this. So keep that in mind that <laughs> um, it doesn't fully connect on the one side, but it will. Oh, my kids just dropped something. Um, so I am rhinestoning the top of this in a drip. I think that's going to look really cool. So I have one layer of epoxy going to rhinestone this, do a second layer, and then this will be done. But I am super excited about this tumbler. I think it's going to look really cute. Same with this one as well. This one, like I said, just needs a second coat and this one will be finished and this one rhinestone and then another coat. So I went ahead and just added the second coat. It's like almost 10 o'clock when I got home from our little neighborhood mom's thing. But I wanted to get this done tonight just because um, I didn't want to do it tomorrow because I have to glitter a tumb another tumbler tomorrow and I didn't want to get any glitter on it. So I did it now but yeah i think it turned out really cute and i'm super happy with it here is the finished fishing lure tumbler there's the handle the picture super cute and then i added a green straw to match the green love it so here is how this tumbler turned out the new smoke tumbler without the name on the back it just has the leaves and then it says dopest mom I love it I love that green it shines so nicely and then I added a green glitter straw to match the other green I think it turned out really really nice so I have the glitter put on the Coraline tumbler what I did for this one is I did a light pink like throughout most of it then in the middle I did this chunky dark pink and then i did a fine dark pink like at the very bottom and i turned i think it turned out really really cute i'm gonna let this cure for like three hours ish and then i'm going to put the first layer of epoxy on
I have the purple and silver letters for keychain sea molded. These four are just going to get a flood coat. And then this one right here, I am, oops, I'm putting a name on this first and then it will come down and get flood coated as well. And these are how all the studs turned out. Really cute, this one. <laughs> It didn't really get much of the silver pulled towards the front, but that's okay. And then these are holographic, like on the inside of the eyes and the mouth are holographic. Now these, I'm gonna have to use a toothpick with these because they got air bubbles in the eyes and in the mouth. So I'm gonna have to be careful with those, but then the little ghosties, the whole thing is holographic for these, and look how pretty they came out. I think that is so cool. What do you guys think? I glued all the posts on. Those have to dry for the rest of the day, like overnight, and then they'll be ready to put on earring cards. I put the Zeta on the Z keychain, and then I flood coated all of them. And then with the leftover resin, I made another keychain as a free gift because she is my biggest um, buyer. She's my biggest customer right now. She buys from me all the time, always like almost or over a hundred dollar orders each time. So um, I try to throw in as much free gifts as I can. So her Z keychain is going to be free. I had that skull bun thing to go with the um, smoke tumbler. And then this one, she had wanted a pen. So she did order a pen for me. I have to make that yet. Um, but she wanted me to write something on the coffee cup. And I said, well, they're all, you know, they're all pre-written. I can't change it. So I thought it would be cute to do in the same colors as her Z um this tumbler keychain and she wanted his girl written on it so i'm gonna write his girl flood coat this one and that'll be her third free gift and then i thought it would be cute i don't know if i'm gonna do these ones or if i'm gonna do the ones i just made um but i'm gonna throw in a pair of stud earrings as well and from, with the leftover resin from all that i made three of these studs and then I made these little ghosty earrings with really light pink for the eyes and the mouth. So I put the rhinestones on the drip. Love that sparkle, I'm obsessed. But then I went and I put rhinestones in the hearts and I think that like added just a little extra pop on that and I love it. So I need to wait for the Mod Podge to fully dry. Um, and then I'm going to put a layer, a final layer of epoxy on this. So I have the first layer of epoxy put on the Coraline tumbler. Um, tonight before bed, I'm going to put on the second coat so that I can put the SVGs on tomorrow. And I'm super excited about this. This came out so cute. I have the final layer of epoxy on this tumbler. And I cannot wait to put this together and put up in the shop. I'm so excited. These earrings are now all finished. They're on cards. The letter keychains are ready for um, hardware. They're all dry. So I have all the keychains put together. This one for Zeta is going aside for her free gift for her package but then these I have a G and I alternated between light and dark purple tassels a D and M and a T and these are all going up in the shop for sale so these studs are all ready for earring card these ghosties need one more day to cure before putting hardware on these and these are all getting backings put on. These need a day to dry and then they'll be ready for earring cards. And now all the earrings are on the cards. 
and they're ready to go. So I have another tumbler started. I did, again, the Dawn dish soap power wash method with white and red. This is going to be a poison apple tumbler. So I'm excited about this one. Here is the finished ghost face tumbler. I love it. You can see the rhinestones and then the rhinestone drip. I added a pink straw to match and I think it came out really nice. I love it. And I love that I was able to incorporate some rhinestones to a tumbler. These are now ready for earring cards. So I have two on cards. This one, there's one of these that I have to re-glue because the post got bent and I was trying to straighten it and I ripped it off. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like put it back on, but it's still very loose. Um, but yeah, but this one's going to the side. This one I'm sending to Zita as her last little gift for all that she's ordered and then these are going in my stud earring bag to be sold and the cute little ghosts are all put together as well and if you can see i did the eyes and mouth a cute like dusty pink so yeah, lots of cool stuff. I learned a, like a new technique and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited to keep working on things and building up my stock. It's been really nice being able to put up my stuff in the auto repair shop. I'm getting a lot more um, buyers since then um, on my older and newer stuff. Um, and I did get an order, custom order out of that. And she did, when she bought the keychain from me, um, she said she wanted to order some other stuff. So I'm excited about that. Um, and one of the workers there um, said that one of the tumblers I made was a big hit with everybody. And some of his friends want my contact info and all that to order their own stuff. So I'm super excited. And... That is everything for today. Um, till next time when you see more of what I've made. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.